I met Thomas in Rome in 2015. It was the holy year, and he was a seminarian at the time. We visited the Brigittine sisters in Rome, this beautiful order of the Most Holy Savior, founded in Sweden by Bridget of Sweden. After the suppression of the order during the Protestant Reformation, a branch of the Brigittines were refounded by Mary Elizabeth Hesselblatt, a convert from Lutheranism to the Roman Catholic Church, and a canonized saint. I could not make it to Father Thomas's ordination, but I had promised I would do my best to go to Finland to receive his priestly blessing. Good afternoon. I'm here in Turku, Finland, with Father Thomas Nusula, who's going to be sharing with us something of his journey. Father Thomas, did I get your surname right? More or less, it's quite difficult, don't you think? So how would you pronounce it? Nusula, but anyway, it's good enough. Thank you. All right. So my first question for you, Father Thomas, is um, well, you're obviously a Catholic because you're a priest. So tell us something about your Catholic journey because most Finns are not Catholic. Um, there are some uh, factors behind. I could point out at least these. Uh, I was uh, studying uh, theology at the University of Helsinki and through the studies in the church history. I started realizing that actually the history of the church is the history of the Catholic Church, not just, well, not actually any other church of the Catholic Church. Um, and I think um, sometimes um, because of the background, it's a Protestant country, uh, as the Christianity here in Finland is a Protestant, uh, Lutheran mainly, um, sometimes we have the impression that there was the early church. And then there was something in between, and then there was the Reformation, and now we are here. But that's not really the full picture. Okay, that was one reason. And then, um, starting to go to Mass, because, as I mentioned, I was already a um, university student, but I never, uh, I, I, was, I had never attended the Catholic Mass. Um, being then invited there by a person who actually was also a um, convert, or oh, convert is not maybe the right word. Anyway, he was taken into full communion with the church a uh, year before. Uh, he invited me to the Mass, and starting to go to Mass was, let's say, it was the more important factor, because I realized soon that there was something in the Mass that uh, that I kind of had, well, was uh, missing before, not being aware of that, but I just realized there is something giving it uh, explanation. What is it actually? Well, that's another thing, but at this point I could only say that Grundmas was another important reason. Then the third reason I have to still say was the teachings of the Church in, in morals, for example. I found that very um, well uh, that I actually I agreed with many teachings that I know that I knew then about morals, so that was kind of also attractive element by that time. All right, so Father Thomas, you you clarified that last point. You agreed, or you agree on all the moral teachings of the Catholic Church. So my. Um, other question for you is, what made you become a Roman Catholic priest? Well, first of all, I have to say that to become a priest is grace. I mean, it's a gift. It's, uh, as Jesus says in some of the Gospels, or maybe in all of them, that I did not uh, choose you, uh, you didn't uh, choose me, I chose you. And this is what I felt regarding the priesthood too, that it was something that um, when I discovered that actually I would want to 
become a priest, and that meant a Catholic priest. Um, I was thinking that would be something, you know, too uh, too difficult or too. I was thinking that would be wonderful, but as I'm what I am, I'm just a normal human being, <laughs> so to say, and that would be impossible for me uh, because I was planning, of course, to marry, etc. But I would say, what made me to become a priest? Following that, what I sense to be as a call inside me, realizing desire to become a priest and thinking maybe maybe God is maybe God is calling me there, and so following that call, that made me um, to become a Catholic priest. It's that simple, I think. Father Thomas, this is a more um, cultural question, but it relates to your Roman Catholic faith. As you mentioned at the beginning, or something to the effect that the majority of Finns, and this is well over the majority of Finns, given the history of Finland, are Lutheran. Yet you are a Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm. Being a Roman Catholic Finn, mm -hmm. does that make you feel less Finnish? No, it <laughs> makes me feel more Finn. Uh, I have returned uh, to the faith of my, my fathers. Um, Finland was a Catholic country. People do not think it here often. We have, say, many medieval churches with, from the Catholic time that that um, we still have them, um, and people feel then somehow romantic or something, uh, that there is something very spiritual in them. I think many people think that way, but they are not thinking that actually they were built to be a Catholic church, uh, churches for the, for the Catholic church. Um, no, definitely, this is, this is the faith that, that all my predecessors, this is the word, um, they were believing, um, and even uh, I have to say, I love my country more after becoming Catholic than before. Uh, that's that's truth. So, absolutely no to your question. Well, thank you very much, Father Thomas. It's wonderful to be here in Finland, here in Turku, with you and discovering so much of the richness and spiritual richness in the history of the Church in Finland, and as you said earlier, your own Roman Catholic history as a Finn. Thank you.